Hello everyone, it's good to see all of you again and today we got the fish that we have not featured before in the channel so let's check out what is the fish The fish that we are featuring in this video today is what we call a Russell snapper When you look at this snapper, the first impression that it reminds you of the finger mark snapper because the shape and the look looked quite similar um, but yes, after all, they belong to the same family. However, the main difference is number one, you can find that this black spot over here is a lot darker. And secondly, you notice that the color of the fish is leaning more towards the dark red color instead of the uh, golden yellow color that the finger mark snapper um, has. Typically, the Russell snapper uh, does not grow as big as the finger mark uh, snapper. This one is considered average size. They can grow up to 30 centimeter and they taste good when you steam it. So today, we're going to prepare this fish for steaming. First, we're going to take off the scales. Okay, let's clean up the fish further. First, I will remove the gears. Next, clear the stomach. Okay, after clearing the stomach, we will give this fish a good wash and then we will prepare the fish for steaming. Okay, first I would like to cut out this part of the fish because I want the fish to sort of like a stand on the steaming plate. Cut off this part of the fish. Then after that, use a knife. Extend, cut over here. Repeat the same for the other side over here. And This is what we're trying to do after you cut up nicely the fish should be able to sort of like um, sit or stand in this position <laughs> hey, After you cut up the fish, uh, normally I like to do sprinkle some salt on the fish and on the stomach um, This is more like um, take away the extra moisture from the fish not really to give the fish uh, any taste and then after that, you will probably leave this fish in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we will take it up for steaming. Now we will prepare a very simple steaming sauce. So I like to use two tablespoons of uh, light soy sauce. Um, choose a soy sauce that you are comfortable with, especially a premium ones will be really good. After that, I add like two tablespoon of uh, water just to dilute the soy sauce a little bit add one teaspoon of sugar and to mix up the sauce we just need to stir the sauce and make sure that 
for the um, sugar is being diluted. First we get the water boiling and the steam coming out, then we put the fish onto the steamer. I have uh, put tomato as the base for today's uh, steaming dish. Next I will add some scallion or spring onion. I'm using mainly the white part of it just to sprinkle over. Okay, now we will drizzle the sauce that we have prepared over earlier on. You do not have to use up all the sauce, it depends on your preference. If you like more sauce, then you can use all up. And, remain, and remember that uh, after steaming, you should have some uh, liquid coming out from the tomatoes and uh, fish. So the amount that I prepared, um, I'm quite happy with it. So based on this size of the fish, we're going to steam it for 8 minutes. Okay, let's see. Mm. Right, I think the fish is already done. So let's take the fish out, plate it nicely, and then we can enjoy the fish. All right, let's try this Russell snapper. Very, very tender. Get a bit of the sauce. Mmm, yummy. Very nice. Mm. The sauce is sweet and then with a little bit sourish element from the tomato. And then you add a little bit of parsley, a little bit of the sauce. Mm. Very good. This is an excellent dish. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm so blessed to have uh, friends who love fishing and they always uh, give me fresh fish to try and eat on this video. Special shout out to the Cell Brothers for giving me this uh, snapper. The recipe, I learned it from a sister in a cooking group and uh, it's very simple and yet very delicious. So I hope you give this recipe a try and I will see you in my next video.